Okay. Um, third aspect, ketones and heart function. So uh, just like the brain utilizes ketones in proportion to the delivery, so there's a really tight correlation between uptake of ketones and the circulating level. Uh, I think Stephen Kunane has shown that many times in some really beautiful graphs. But uh, that same relationship is true for the heart. So uh, as ketones are elevated in the circulation, the heart takes them up and utilizes them in proportion to the circulation. That's certainly not the case with skeletal muscle. There's a, the, the, uh, the uptake is there's a lower KM for the transporter and you saturate that process at a much lower level. But with heart, the higher they go, the more the heart utilizes ketones. And a lot of new data coming out now showing that when you have a ketone-fueled heart, um, it's functioning more efficiently and, and, and better, particularly in, in disease states like heart failure. And so in the context of um, heart failure, uh, there's all this data coming from a variety of different sources indicating a ketone-fueled heart is functioning better. Um, now, some of this is just from the metabolic side of things is like I just said, the heart does utilize ketones if they're available. Uh, it, you know, it's an organ that needs a lot of energy and it needs it on a regular basis to function. So it will tend to oxidize anything that's there, but it will preferentially use ketones. Um, there's also clearly a metabolic basis to heart failure. Um, so heart failure is associated with uh, impaired ability to utilize substrates, in particular fatty acids, and an increased reliance on glucose. Uh, and so there's a lot of different animal models out there now, and even human studies showing that the failing heart will utilize ketones to a greater extent. And then you've got animal studies. I think Veach published one of the first many years ago showing that a ketone-fueled heart in an animal model functioned more efficiently, so it produced greater cardiac function per unit ATP when it's run on ketones versus other substrates. Uh, but even in the last, say, five years or so, now we've actually got human studies in both clinical populations as well as healthy populations showing that when you elevate ketones acutely, you get beneficial effects. And I'll go through a few of these in a minute, but we've got ketone infusion studies. And more recently, in the last couple of years, we've got a couple now papers out on ketone, exogenous ketones, elevating uh, ketones acutely and improving cardiac function. And then the last bullet point there I'll just mention, um, this is kind of another way in which I think cardiologists are starting to come on board with this. Uh, we have quite a lot of clinical trials now on SGLT2 inhibitors, which are used to lower glucose and diabetes. But we have um, findings now published showing um, it improved heart outcomes in diabetic patients and even non-diabetic patients now with heart failure, showing reduced hospitalizations, uh, decreased cardiac events uh, with just use of these drugs. And um, you know these drugs cause increased glucose output in the urine, but one of the other metabolic effects of these drugs is they elevate ketones modestly. So uh, typically uh, up until the lower end of nutritional ketosis, so maybe 0.3 to 0.5 millimolar, without following a ketogenic diet. But a lot of people have speculated that the cardioprotective effects of these drugs might in part be due to the ketones. So that's just another uh, level of evidence supporting ketones having a beneficial effect on heart function.